How's it going, guys? RNG Life here, and today, Crowler is back, and he's bringing a few new cards. I mean, only a few. Uh, we are going to go ahead and look at his rewards real quick, and I do have a cool farm deck for you guys to take him out. First card we're looking at is Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem. I mean, his deck hasn't changed at all. Uh, the only thing that changes is his rewards, so now some NPC exclusive cards become available, and we can get three copies of certain cards apparently. Uh, but we got this card, it looks okay, but it looks kind of situational. It looks kind of like the one you'd have to build a full-on deck for it, uh, since you have to fuse like three monsters for it, but whatever. Uh, you got that one, you're gonna have obviously these guys and whatever, which I think these, yeah, you were able to farm these last time. The only other new card I'm seeing is this one, and I think this one... So let's go ahead and look at that Bio Falcon, uh, which looks okay. It's just a searcher for a, a machine that's a thousand or less attack. I don't think it's going to be that useful in Ancient Gear since most of them do have over a thousand attack. Maybe if you want to search some weird Ancient Gear, maybe like this one. or uh, I, I don't think we have Ancient Gear Box, or if we do, it's at one, so maybe... But I don't know, man. But we do get our third copy of Ancient Gear Castle, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're actually able to run multiple copies of or second and third technically because i have two but it's just because i got lucky and pulled one uh but you're gonna have up to four copies of this card in the deck so that's that's interesting and then we have this card which i don't really i don't really care about but whatever <laughs> let's go ahead and look at the deck i'm gonna be using for him today and here it is all right so we got cerberus today uh last time i made a cerberus deck and it legit became my most viewed video at 14k views around there. Uh, so I wanted to update the deck because a lot I, I found out a lot of people are watching that video again to try to find out how to farm uh, Crowler. But I mean that video was it, it's okay it works, but the deck is outdated, guys. You gotta update it, dude. All right, so first of all, you gotta run one Cerberus with Draw Sense Light. Uh, I am using this with the Paradox Brothers. They do have that skill. I think Mokuba has it as well. So you can use it on Mokuba to farm for skills. Uh, right now, I'm using it on the Paradox Brothers, but I will probably move this deck over to Mokuba. Uh, but we got one copy of Cerberus, one copy of Vassal, since we're going for a, a last turn engine using Vassal and uh, Union Attack. Uh, now, I'm running two copies of Magical Stone Excavation. There is a reason for this. You can cut this down to one. If you personally want to run one, go ahead and run one. But I'm running two just so I can have a free card to pitch and so it's a little bit more consistent to have because we're using the Bamboo Engine. Bamboo has been pretty much nerfed, so we're going to have one copy of Golden Bamboo. So this is the reason why I'm running Magical Stone Excavation because this card lets you discard certain cards to add cards from the grave back to your hand or one card from the grave to your hand, which can let you add Golden Bamboo again. Uh, now, if you have a... If you've used it once, you drew two cards, you use this card, discard two, and then get it back, and then you get to draw another two. It's kind of like running Golden Bamboo at two, uh, but but not as consistent, I guess, uh, But because you do have to discard. But there's another situation where if you have this card and maybe like two of these or something, you can also technically activate this, pitch one of them, and maybe any other card. Uh, I don't care. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's not a last turn card. Uh, and you can add this card from your deck. So that's pretty good too because then you get to activate it with the one you have remaining. And you get to further do some shenanigans. So it, it's it's kind of your draw engine. Now if you don't if you don't want to use bamboos, you can also technically just cut out one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Maybe run in some shards of greed or something and, and I don't know. Whatever you want to use for draw power, that's up to you. Uh, but we are using these. And we are also running one copy of Anti-Magic Arrows. This is your last turn card. He does have the zero gravity cards, which do stop you. Uh, or they, they kind of stop you in your last turn. Or they or they just kind of wreck you while you're like building up. Which is kind of dangerous. Because um, his, his monsters can run over your 1400 defense fairly easily. Especially if he's got the castles. Then anything can run you over. And this is why we run triple Super Rush Headlong. If you do not have a triple Super Rush Headlong, run as many as you can, but I highly recommend this card because it will save you on a turn that he activates uh, Zero Gravity. Now, he will activate Zero Gravity frivolously sometimes. He just kind of uses it for no reason, uh, which is good. It's good for us because that means he's not going to wreck you on that turn, so that's cool. Uh, but I do highly recommend at least two Super Rush to save him exactly for when he uses Zero Gravity because it, it could be pretty dangerous or early on. If you have this early and you start off by summoning uh, summoning Cerberus, this will save you if he's, got, if he's already got an established board. Uh, so pretty good. All you gotta do is call Earth 
Or you can also use it offensively and try to get over his golem or something because it would not count as Cerberus killing a monster. He will not lose his counters. So that's one way to get over his like golem or whatever. So that's that's pretty cool too. Uh, we got one copy of Union Attack. You're only going to need one copy. This is what makes this deck good. My last build, I was running two copies and, uh, and that card, uh, Secret Pass. But this one, we're not even running Secret Pass. We got one copy of Union Attack. That's about it. So that's pretty cool. And we're going to be running Triple Econ. I'm running Econ because, once again, it keeps you safe. Anything that can you can draw early to protect you, uh, maybe maybe they're going to have too much game on board. Because you have to take a hit. Remember, draw sense light. So he might have a weird situation where he's got, like, I don't know, two Ancient Gear Knights with, like, 2,400 attack or something. Uh, that could be pretty dangerous. You're only going to want to want to take one attack. So Econ can save you in those situations. I'm not saying this deck is the most consistent in the world. Uh, you can completely brick can't you can end up getting a terrible first hand and it happens dude it happens but the fact is this deck is way better than the one I, I showed off last time and it's still pretty good now we've got three copies of blustering winds another card that can protect you from when he uses his uh his or when he at least sets a card face down on in his back row um you might think that it might be a zero gravity you can go ahead and activate blustering winds this powers up your Cerberus' defense by to 24. So if he's got smaller monsters, at least they can't run you over. He would have to use a Golem. Uh, so it could kind of protect you, but not all the way. So just keep that in mind. You could also use it as on like, not really last turn, but gradually. Because all you want to do is reach uh, maybe about 9400 with Cerberus to, to get his attack that high. So you can go ahead and use one Union attack, add it all to Gravekeeper's Vassal. Hit for over 10k. That's all you really need. But um, it should be really easy if you it just abuse the uh, bamboos. So that's all you really gotta do. Just keep sending them back to your hand, activating them every turn. You're gonna you're gonna constantly gain counters on uh, Cerberus. So that's pretty cool. And we have one copy of Acid Rain. Now I I, I was saying like if you don't have triple Super Rush. Uh, if you don't want to run some Magical Stone of Ex Excavation, you can bump this up to 3 if you like. And I think that's pretty much it. I've already talked about all the cards in this deck. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in and I'll show you guys how this deck works. Alright, and there he is, Dr. Crowler. Let's see if we get a good opening hand. So, we're going second. That is not bad because we get an extra draw, so that's good. And let's see what we get. Oh, that's not bad. We get to block a hit, we get these two. That's pretty good, honestly. And then we have this, just in case we want to recover this. Uh, maybe if we get en enough cards. So, 21. I think sometimes it is better when you go first, because you can set nothing, and then you can attack you, and then you get your Cerberus. But in this situation, we might have to block a hit. So, let's go ahead and end. See how hard he goes. A double knight, dude. Alright, we're going to take 21 to the face. That's fine. Alright, we're taking that one. We're blocking the second one, though. This is why we run triple econ. So, we're going to go ahead and switch that one to defense. Alright, not bad. 19 is a fairly safe place to be. So, as long as you're over 12. So, Mythical Beast Cerberus. Alright, so we got Cerberus. We're going to go ahead and do some shenanigans right now. So, summon Cerberus. So, Cerberus is going to get some counters on him right now, dude. Let's go ahead and activate the Cursed Bamboo. Obviously want to give it to Cerberus. And, or you can give it to anybody, to be honest. At least the first one, because you're going to be bouncing back a lot. So, now we can go ahead and Golden Bamboo it up. And we get some draws, so what do we got? Last turn cards, really? That's annoying. Alright, so we had to hit into the last turn cards. The only, like, two last turn cards we run in the deck. And we drew them. Alright, so that's annoying. We're, we're still stronger, but we could also Blustering Winds, but I don't know. He could still Tribute. And if he Tributes right now, that would be bad. What I'm probably going to go ahead and do is activate Blustering Winds, maybe. And just to, just to boost myself up a little bit more. You want to boost yourself up over 3,000 as quick as possible. So. We're at, what, 39? That's perfect. That's good. All right. So he's not going to be able to run us over at least. At least. I mean, he could still eventually power up his golem. All right. Good. He had golem. So we did the right call in powering up. But he doesn't have a power up. Good. So let's go ahead and draw. Blustering wins again, dude. That's nice. So we get some extra beef extra beef on our, our bones dude so let's go ahead and power this guy up again 44 all right so every time you use this it's basically a 1500 power up and then the 500 stays so we're gonna lose what a thousand so we're gonna be 34 that's not bad 
We're, we're still safe. We're safe for the most part. Uh, I want to draw a Super Rush, maybe. So Perfect! I called it! I, I swear this is not pre-recorded, dude. Alright, so this... Um, I'm going to go ahead and set this. And let's see. Alright, so I think we're good. Now, if, as soon as we draw our second Cursed Bamboo Sword, uh, we could do some more shenanigans. We already have uh, the golden one in the grave, right? So we don't really want to pitch the second one for this one. Uh, not yet, at least. He hasn't used a single copy of his uh, Zero Gravity, though. So you got to be careful. That is that is the only really dangerous card. Perfect. Another Super Rush. Uh, let's check his grave real quick. All right. He's only got those two. And we're just going to keep passing. We're good. We're 34. He can get another castle. He can activate it, power up his golem. He can get that um, that equip card that powers him up. He can do quite a bit of things. But Super Rush is like a perfect protection card for one single turn. So it's always going to protect you for that one turn. So right now, I hope he does have zero gravity. Perfect. We got the uh, Cursed Bamboo. Let's go ahead and activate this. And they are all glossy, so that also adds up to your score. So that's really nice. And let's use that. Power up. Let's make ourselves a little bit more consistent with our power ups. So he doesn't just equip something and run us over. Uh, so we're going to bounce this back. This technically allows us to attack directly. So that's good. Uh, do we want to attack directly? Nah, not yet. Not yet. Uh, so we're good here. We could activate this again. So it's like a free two counters every turn. So a free 1,000 attack per turn. So uh, I can go ahead and activate this. I don't really mind. I, once you have a Super Rush set, you're safe, dude. Once you have a Super Rush set, you are completely safe. So we have uh, two Super Rush. So we could technically survive two zero gravities. So we're good. We're good. Uh, so he's got another castle. That's fine, dude. I don't care. I'm not going to be summoning until the last turn. But he does have the zero gravity, which is perfect. So now that he activated that, he's going to go ahead and set. And he's going to try to go for battle. Or like He's going to try to go for game. So we cannot chain to his attack. So we have to activate this when it says it is the battle phase. So let's go ahead and activate this. All you gotta do is call Earth. That's all you really do in this deck. Call Earth all day, every day. Uh, so there it is. All right, we're good. So we survived that turn. We drew an Econ. We're gonna set. All right, let's activate this first, just real quick. Bounce this back. All right, don't worry about that. And let's activate it again. Power up our monster. Obviously, switch him to attack. So let's go ahead and do that. And there's a lot of ways to handle the last turn, but uh, I'll show you that when we get there. Uh, you could blustering wins when, uh, whenever you want, really. Uh, right now, super rush is all we need, so we're gonna go ahead and set that. And I don't like burning super rushes unless you really need to. So if we had like, if we were gonna have to discard a super rush, I would use it. And that's what I, something I did on my last video. I did not like. I would not use super rush, and you kind of need it. So let's go ahead and end. We're good. We're completely safe. He can't really do anything at this point. This is just going to set his monsters. And we're good. Alright, so let's draw. Acid Rain. Alright, so if we want, we can activate it. Because he doesn't have a fusion. Like, he doesn't have extra deck or anything. So we can't make any any annoying fusions. So, you know what? Just to, just for that disrespect, screw your golem, dude. Screw that golem. Get out of the way, dude. Alright, get that thing out of here. Alright, so now we could continue with our... Uh, Cursed Bamboo shenanigans. We can even activate Blustering Winds if we really want to, but eh, kind of don't want to. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this real quick. Alright, so let's get you that power-up you've always wanted. Alright, so we're good. We're pretty much set, dude. I, I don't think he has anything he can really do. If, if, if he does zero gravity again, which that could be zero gravity. And uh, if he does try it again... Oh, there's that third Cursed Bamboo. Uh, so... I think we have a play here. Let's go ahead and activate. Oh wait, first we gotta we gotta bounce them back. All right, we gotta bounce something back first. All right, let's do this real quick. All right, so I don't know which was which about the bamboo swords. I would like to activate all the glossies, but whatever. Let's go ahead and activate curse or magical stone. I mean, I was about to call it curse stone, uh, but whatever. We're gonna pitch one of these, and it doesn't matter to be honest. I'm gonna get rid of an econ since we don't really need it anymore. Once you have Super Rush, you're safe. And we're going to add this to get us two more draws. That's what I'm talking about, dude. This is what I'm talking about. All right, so now we get to activate this. Get more counters, more cards in hand, more shenanigans. We could... No, no, dude. Why would you do this? I mean, you can if you want to, but you would be running on last turn shenanigans. 
and you've already bounced back, so I don't know. I mean, nah, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I, I would be dumb because then you would have no uh, way to actually win. I mean, you could attack directly with Cerberus and deal 10k, but you're going to be a thousand points short. I mean, you do have a thousand points for the final thing, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this, or yeah, we could still we could still activate it. We're not going to be doing any any draw plays anymore, so let's go ahead and power them up once. And we're good, dude. We're good. 84, meaning once we gain a thousand, we're already at our goal. So yeah, we're 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 all set, dude. Super rush. That's that's nice. All right, so we're gonna do something here. This is preparing for the last turn. You have one card left in deck. We're gonna bounce back the bamboo sword, and now that that's bounced, we're not gonna play it again because we're gonna need it for next turn, or at least the bounce ability, uh, since we already got rid of our, th our other cursed bamboo that's in the grave. Uh, so right now, we're gonna go ahead and just burn off excess cards. So let's go ahead and use Super Rush. Why not, dude? Why not? All you do is call Earth, but I don't even care, dude. We're calling Light for this one. And there's no need to use uh, Econ because he doesn't have any face-up monsters. And I think that's pretty much it. We could activate this if we want. M might as well, right? I mean, we could also save it for that last turn just to give us some extra, extra power. But to be honest, we're, we're all set, dude. Uh, so I think we're going to go ahead and end. We're at 89. And next turn, we're going to get a, a bit of a power boost since we do have to activate a Union Attack to do our final stuff, so let's draw our last card. It was a Vassal. The Vassal was hiding at the bottom of the deck. So, we're gonna prepare for the last turn right now. So, that involves summoning Vassal. He's gonna get his counters, finally. And we can start doing all of our shenanigans. So, let's go ahead and blustering wins. Doesn't matter who you power up. It really doesn't. But, Cerberus does reach that 94. Uh, and then... The only real thing we have to do now is activate this. You know what? We're going to activate this too. Why not, dude? Why not? You don't want to have your field clogged for the last turn. Always use all the cards on your field. So, screw it. Cerberus, you're going to gain a, you're going to gain a boost. You're going to gain an attack boost right now, dude. Uh, screw it, dude. Screw it. All right. And I think now we're all set. Let's go ahead and activate this just cuz we can. I do have a Prismatic, you don't necessarily need a Prismatic, but we're going to go ahead and use that on Vassal. Vassal's going to gain all the attack of Cerberus with his 10, what, 10k attack, dude? Uh, it's pretty intense, so now we can go ahead and activate this. Cursed Bamboo. And this is the reason why we saved it for the last turn. You're going to give it to Vassal. And if you want to style on him, you can activate it bounce back or you kind of do have to bounce it back but if you want to like style on him activate it again dude why not why not let's give vassal double swords over here dude give him twin blades and then that's pretty much it now we're gonna go ahead and enter battle phase so we enter battle phase he might have one zero gravity left in his deck so we are gonna go ahead and anti anti magic arrows if he uses both then you can do whatever you want on the last turn dude but we got 13,100 straight to the mouth dude Straight to the mouth. Get wrecked, Crowler, dude. All right. And that should give us a really good score. About 8,000, maybe 9,000. Uh, the campa campaign bonus does add a bit, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, what do we got? 87, 8,700. Not bad. I mean, it's, it's still pretty good. Uh, so we got that camp campaign bonus, which adds 1,000. So it would be 7,700-ish. So, I don't know, if you lowered your life points more, that's about it. But, I mean, it's better than nothing. It's better than a really inconsistent deck. Because there's a, quite a few decks you can use. I think you can use uh, you can use Dark Paladin. You can use uh, Labyrinth Builder. You can use Elements Unite. I also consider making an Elements Unite deck. But I think updating this one was, was more necessary. It was better to update this one. You can use that free-to-play farm deck that I actually made a video of before. You guys can check that out if you'd like. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I mean, th there's quite a few decks you can use. Let me know if you guys have gotten any of this new stuff. Uh, it's, or if, you, or if how you guys are doing on Esperoba since we're able to farm two characters at the same time. For like the first time in Duel Links uh, that I'm aware of. Uh, but whatever. If you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway... Thank you guys for watching today, have a great day, and see you guys!